Tease is live in Stockton with the founders of SMART to explain the organization's mission. Hi, who? Yes. It's so true, so powerful with just this little thing. I know this so, phone so small, but you can do so much, right? Today we've been talking about it. It's National Social Media Day. So many different platforms that people can uh, communicate with others, uh, including kiddos, right? So I'm telling you about this new organization, a local nonprofit. It is called Smart. I've got the founders here with me to tell us a little bit about what it is. First of all, I love the logo. It's so cute. <laughs> can you tell us what does Smart stand for? Social Media Application responsibility training training and you just mentioned to me it's a little like dare right yes in the sense that you go into schools and classrooms and tell kids you're not telling them not to use it you're just telling them to be smarter exactly be smart and responsible on social media mm -hmm. just because one post it can ruin your life yeah you know we've talked about this just this last week this is you can find a job using social media right and so you know on the flip side it can also hurt you right and we've talked about that as well how does your you guys go in and do assemblies how does your message differ from others or, or how is it that you, that you what do you guys use to get the message across oh getting the message across for us is like excellent what we do is like we kind of have this like hidden little theory where mm -hmm. we're like we're putting the medicine inside the poison oh. so we take what's a Affecting these kids, yeah. and we utilize their social media and the news around them, and we educate them on the process of what they're going through. Like right now, it's fun, mm -hmm. but just like adults, they're being criticized. You know, right. they're being looked at by colleges and administrators that are watching the things they do. Mm -hmm. So we're giving them an opportunity to utilize what they have mm -hmm. to learn before they make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So we're a preventive organization. Uh, they're so smart and yet so hip too. They look so cool, right? And, and I think that you're, you're younger, and you said that probably helps too. Yes, because we do use the same things that. They use every day. Yeah, the same platforms. You use um, some different stats that you uh, you show with them. You also have videos. You should see my, uh, make Mayor Michael Tubbs, also so some familiar faces. Um, and then, of course, you've already started. You've already gotten into the classroom here at Christian McCullough, one of the schools that you've already come into. I've got Principal Kirby. He said I could call him by his first name, but I feel like it's, he's a principal. i got to call him by his last name. <laughs> and you said it, it, it actually worked. This is seventh and eighth grade, which is shocking to me that you have to have these conversations with such young kids. But it's so important. It is very important. Um, our kids do use the social media a lot. Unfortunately, a lot of times it brings over problems to the school, um, discipline problems that yeah. spill over from being on social media. This group came in. They are young and hip. They engaged <laughs> our kids. When you can have, uh, you know, uh, an assembly of 400 kids where the kids are really just engaged and listening and interacting with the group, um, you know, it's it's very good. It's yeah, good, it's fantastic. Good. All right. So again, it's called Smart. We've got linked up your website to ours and even all of their social media handles, right? Because after all, that's what you're talking about. Uh, so you can reach out to them uh, with that. I'm telling you, some of the stats, though. Can I tell you this? Listen, this is a, one of the stats that they share with the kids. The University of Edinburgh Business School study found the more Facebook friends a person has, the more stressful the person finds Facebook to use. And how much time do we spend on Facebook, right? I mean, you can spend hours just you know going through and, and chit chatting with folks. Um, so interesting stats that they have that they share with the students to really try to educate and make them smarter on social media. So there you go. If you are a teacher or are trying to get them into your um, class, we've got their website linked up to ours at gooddaysacramento.com. Back over to you. Good deal. All right. Who? Thank you. Yes, social media day today. Don't forget.